Hello, today I'm going to share my experiences with using the hybrid tank transfer method for treating saltwater fish for ick, velvet, broccanella, as well as flukes. Hello and welcome back everybody to the Bio Reef. I wanted to share my experiences with the hybrid tank transfer method. This was developed by Humblefish, link below. It's supposed to eliminate ick, velvet, broccanella, as well as flukes in without having to use any copper. So I had gotten this uh, tiny little Tumini tank and I wanted to try the method on him. So the first step is you put your fish in uh, QT. Here I'm using a five gallon bucket with three and a half gallons of water. Uh, just has heat as well as uh, uh, an air stone and I added prime to this tank to make sure that ammonia doesn't build up and after about three days of this uh, on approximately uh, day four you transfer the fish into a hydrogen peroxide bath that's a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and about uh, two liters of water uh, and you do this for half an hour and then you transfer the fish again to a new sterilized QT again I'm using my buckets uh, and I'm feeding the fish throughout this uh, entire process. So every day I'm feeding them several uh, times. And uh, again, I'm adding prime daily to make sure that uh, the food doesn't kind of uh, uh, lead to a cycle and, and an ammonia spike inside uh, my tiny little tank here. So at day 10, uh, sorry, at day seven, you move the fish into a third uh, sterilized QT. Uh, and then uh, the way I sterilize it, essentially you wipe it with vinegar and you let it dry really well. Again, all of that is covered in, uh, in Humble Fish's video, so do have a look at it. And then day uh, 10, you do a, a hydrogen peroxide bath. Uh, that's a second hydrogen peroxide bath. Uh, so the hydrogen peroxide is meant to deal with the velvet broccanella as well as the flukes. And the tank transfer deals with the ick. And after that's done, uh, you're essentially, you're transferring it to another uh, container. And then finally, on day 13, the fish in theory should be uh, uh, f uh, free of parasite uh, and worms. And, and then you are meant to kind of put it into an observation tank uh, and observe it over a period of a uh, couple of weeks, just to kind of make sure that you did indeed kind of uh, deal with ick, velvet, and as well as all of the other nasties. So overall, I felt this process worked uh, really well for me. Uh, it did involve kind of uh, having a lot of salt water on hand, but whenever I did a transfer, I actually used water from my display, which is clean and I know my fish are healthy. It was really easy kind of not to worry about, uh, you know, the filtration aspects and, you know, all you have there is a heater as well as uh, an air stone. Uh, and the cleanup did take a little bit of time, but honestly, it, it wasn't like that big of a deal. So I, I did really enjoy the method. Uh, what I liked about it is I didn't have to worry about, uh, you know, making sure my copper uh, doses are, are right. So copper, I mean, I think copper is great for, for some situations, but you really have to know how much is in your tank and you have to monitor it. So uh, I, would, I would find myself spending a lot of time just testing copper and dosing copper whenever I do a transitional QT. So this method kind of eliminates that. And in theory, it is kind of easier on the fish, although you do have to transfer the fish often, but uh, you're not kind of adding uh, harsh chemicals like, like copper. So uh, will I use this method again? I, I think I will, uh, especially if you're like, if you're, if you're working with a small fish that could actually be comfortable in, in a five gallon bucket, I, I think this, this might make a lot of sense. Uh, obviously, if, if you're going to have to do this with, with real quarantine tanks, uh, you know, 10 gallons or, 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 you know, 25 gallons, it might get a little bit unyieldy to kind of keep transferring and, and sterilizing things, but it can work. So I, I think I'm going to use this method as my kind of go to when I have small fish that uh, could, you know, live happily in, in a five gallon bucket on the short term. Now, I do want to add a little disclaimer is that there's been some critiques of this method. Uh, so on, on Reef to Reef, I actually posted uh, a question about whether this is recommended. Uh, right now, Reef to Reef, the, the fish and disease form, they recommend doing a, a copper as the best kind of uh, best way to quarantine fish. Uh, so the critique is that uh, the tank transfer relies on ick having kind of a regular life cycle with, with well-defined times. Uh, 
between transitioning through its life stages and uh, that sometimes this doesn't happen and you might end up with a strain of ick that kind of has a slightly different life cycle such that the tank transfer method is no longer going to be effective so just be aware that that's a theoretical possibility to what extent this might happen uh, it's not clear but if you're going to be observing your fish in a hospital tank after the hybrid tank transfer method then I think you could you will have an opportunity to kind of observe to see whether the fish is really healthy and, you know if it develops ick then you could follow up with copper uh, but in my case uh, in the hospital tank the, the tank looked really great and I was able to add it to my display so uh, overall I think this is a, a fairly uh, good method if if, uh, if you're dealing with small fish that could kind of uh, you know uh, do well in a five gallon bucket so I'll, I'll definitely be considering this method going forward when i'm quarantining new fish all right uh, that's it everybody thank you so much if you've had any luck with the tank transfer method do let me know uh, if not let me know what you're currently using for quarantine and if you're not quarantining well <laughs> i'm gonna i'm not gonna lecture you but uh you know it's, it's oh if you can it's always better just for ease of mind and uh, uh, you know what they say an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure Okay, have a good one, enjoy your reef, and I'll see you later.